In Bark Hampstead this afternoon, it broke out on Center Hill Road after 4 o'clock this morning. News Ace Kim Pierce on the scene with a look at the damage. Fire destroys the garage of this Bark Hampstead house. Fortunately, the only casualties, two electric cars that were parked inside. All that's left are the charred frames of a brand new Chevy Volt and an older Suzuki. Fire broke out around 4.15 a.m. when the Connors were sleeping. I walked outside and looked in the garage door and it was flaming. So that was, I decided I'd go inside and put my pants on and come back out. Storm Connors is a volunteer firefighter. He got his wife and their dog out safely. And called 911 and they were here pretty quick. I, there were a lot of firemen here, around 50, I think. All those firefighters worked quickly to keep the fire in the garage. They got help from a strong firewall. On the garage side of the wall, there's nothing left. The fire even melted off the doorknob, but on the inside, there's very little damage at all. The Connors had just bought that Chevy Volt. It only had 2,000 miles on it, and Storm converted that Suzuki to electric power himself years ago. He likes his electric cars too much to think having them charging in the garage started the fire. I don't have any reason to suspect it was any reason, any part of the cause of the fire. And everybody's wondering, with the electric cars charging in there, did that have anything to do with the fire? Too early to say at this point. Um, the investigators uh, haven't got in there yet. Um, right now they're working on their game plan on what they're going to do. Thanks to that sturdy firewall and to the quick work of the firefighters, the house should be livable after a little cleaning up from the smoke and water damage. Nobody was hurt. On the scene in Bark Hampstead, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.